Hey guys, welcome back. This is week 13 of the Hide His Word in My Heart series. And today we are coming to you from Psalms 107 verse 8. And I actually want to go back a few verses and read from verse 1 of this chapter because I think this verse can sometimes be a little confusing. So I want to read before this because I, I really encourage you to read before and after the verses that we're getting because sometimes it explains a little bit more in depth of what the verse is saying. So let's start at verse 1, uh, Psalms 107 verse 1. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others that He has redeemed you from your enemies. For He has gathered the exiles from many lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless. Hungry and thirsty, they nearly died. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live. And this is verse 8. It says, Let them praise the Lord for his great love and the wonderful things he has done for them. And I just think it really goes to speak how far God will go for each of us when we ask for his help and we cry out to him. You know, he will go from the east to the west, north, south. He will go that far for you. And um, I really love this verse. And it really brought me back to a time of thanksgiving, of thanking Him for all that He has done for us. So today in this verse, I found this uh, gorgeous yellow paper in my paper pack. And I thought it would be the perfect backdrop for what I'm wanting to do. And um, when I think of thankfulness um, and thanksgiving, I love sunflowers and fall and all the wonderful colors of that time of year. So that's kind of the direction I wanted to go in for this page today. So um, I am going to be sketching quite a bit in this and we'll fast forward through that, but we will come back when it's time to do the verse. So I hope you enjoy my drawing. So I did have a question for anyone that has experience with watercolor um, pencils. Um, I need advice tips on how to use them. I've never used them before. I don't I don't currently own any, but I would love to try them out. So if you have any suggestions or tips on how to use them or the best brands to try out, leave it in the comments below because I would love to hear your opinions on it and try that out sometime. So currently today I'm just going to use my regular Crayola color pencils. That's kind of what I'm comfortable with using right now. Um, but like I said, I would love to try something else, so leave me some tips below. Okay, first I'm going to start out, I want to add some beautiful sunflowers in here. I love sunflowers. I think they make me happy. They make me feel joyful. So that's what I'm going to do in some areas of this page. I think we need some browns and some yellows and golds. I think that's probably good for now. And I think they do have a little bit of black in them as well, but we'll add that later. So I'm going to start out with a soft light brown and kind of sketch a circle in this corner. And it does not have to be perfect or anything because that's the beautiful part about sketching is it's just how you view it in your mind. Um, I guess we can outline the, the, the petals in brown as well. Sunflowers have beautiful layered petals. They kind of round at the top and come down to a point at the base of the circle. So I'm going to continue that all the way around.
and your flower does not have to be perfectly round or anything. It just has to have petals that go all the way around. Okay, and then after you have that first round in, you can come back in and add some, a second layer where you have some of the larger gaps between the petals. And that'll really give us some dimension in our flower. Okay, now that we've got kind of the base drawn in, I'm going to shade the center part of this in a light brown. Just to give it a base color. And I'm gonna go in with this mustardy yellow color and really saturate these petals. I did see there's a spot here. I wanted to add some petals behind. So I'll we'll go in and add those. There's another one here. Helps really fill in those flowers. This is really pretty on this yellow paper. It really helps the colors pop. And that's kind of a trick that I use, um, as you saw in the last page I did with the owl on it. If you know the general direction of colors that you're going to go in, you can use the same color family paper to really draw out the colors that you're drawing when you're using matte pencils. Okay. All right, now that I've got that, we're gonna go back in with our darker brown pencil. We're probably gonna shade the center part a little bit darker in the middle. And we're going to give it some, some swirls in here. Now I know this is not a typical sunflower center, but it just is how I kind of saw it in my mind. So that's the way I'm going with it. And I'm going to go back in and add a few pieces of these, this darker brown around the leaves or the petals to make a few of them really stand out. Kind of adds dimension to the page. And then on sunflower petals, they actually have a vein that goes down the center of them. So I'm going to go in and add that vein. And this helps too when you give it a slight curve. Um, imagine how that, that petal might be laying on your flower and give it a slight curve in that direction. And it'll really make your flowers feel very real. See, as this petal goes this way, I kind of drew a line this way, and this petal's leaning back, so I drew one that way. So you just kind of look at it and imagine if you were looking face to face with your flower 
in the direction that they're laying on the page. Okay, and we'll go ahead and line these back petals also. Oh, that just turned out so pretty. I love it. Okay, I think I want to add a few more of these in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that real quickly, and then we'll come back when it's time to do the next step. So next, now that I've got the flowers finished, I want to go in and add some green leaves to them. So I'm going to pick out a few shades of green. I've got a light green, dark green, kind of a medium green. So we all see what we can get from this. The way that that turned out and I am ready to add our wording in now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my ruler and add some faint lines that I can follow because I'm not very good at staying straight on my own so I'm going to add some lines in and then we will get started on our lettering mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to go in and add the wording. I'm going to do it in pencil real fast and then we'll go back in and darken it up. Okay, it says, let them praise the Lord for the wonderful things he has done for them. Psalms 107 verse 8. So pretty. Okay, let's go back in with brown. And I actually have a Spectro Noir marker in brown. I think I want to do it in that. Perfect. Okay, I really love the way that came out. 
And now I'm going to go back in and kind of clean up my extra pencil marks. Get those off the page. Wow, guys, that turned out so great. I really love the final product. So now all we have to do is add it to our book, and we are done with week 13. Let's see. Okay, guys, that completes week 13. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Easter. I hope you get to spend time with your family and really enjoy this time of the season because it is about Christ, and we are thankful for Him. All right, have a great week. See you next time. Hey guys, I realized after the fact I did not go in and put the veining into this flower, so I'm going to do that as well before I am fully complete. So I'm just going to go in and add some, some veining here. I really think it just helps bring these flowers to life off the page. Okay, have a great week.